Hello everyone, it's Gladius. The new buff is pretty amazing. New Discoverer's Delight is giving us an additional 100% experience and also 300% gold on quest turn-ins. Now for this, there's a couple things that you need to be aware of as you're using this buff to its maximum potential and also a third idea for something that's almost a little too strong that you can take advantage of depending on what level your character is. Let's get into it. So first, if you're leveling your character, you're gonna notice that when you pick up quests, you're gonna see the gold amount at the bottom. This is standard. We've always been able to see this. However, something you should know is that the gold amount that it shows on the quest is actually going to be the amount before the multiplication, before you get the additional 300%. So as you're going and accepting your quests, that gold amount is not going to be the complete amount you get. I tested this by looking at my gold amount before and after, and the difference was pretty big. I got a lot more out of it. The second thing you should be aware of as you're leveling up your character, keep in mind you're going to be leveling at 100% percent experience, so 100% faster, you're going to outlevel those quests after you pick them up. I was leveling in the Torrent starting zone, and I was getting gray quests. More than half of them went gray before I was ready to turn them in because I was fighting mobs. I was going all over the entire zone, so you're going to outlevel your quests super fast. What you want to do, is make sure you're only picking up quests that are going to reward you gold. So to take advantage of this, to make sure we're getting the most out of it, since we can't complete all the quests anyway because they're going to go gray, you just want to pick up the ones that are going to give you a gold reward. Of course, gear items are really important just for the health of the character to make sure that you're keeping up in power level as you're progressing. But just keep that in mind. If you're doing a quest solely that doesn't give you any reward, well, you're not taking advantage of the limited time that you're going to have this additional gold. That's right, because when you're level 40, it's going to turn off the buff. If you have a character that's at level 39, you're going to be at max power before you level up to 40 and then turn off the buff. So what's to stop you from just going and accepting gray quests and lower level quests, completing those in your level 39, and then reaping the full reward. So far, I don't see anything blocking you from doing this. I Unfortunately, I can't test it because I don't have a character at level 39, but just a consideration for those of you who do have a character around that level and want to test it out, let me know your results in the comment section below. Were you able to get the full reward? I don't see any reason why not. I imagine this will get nerfed. And next, I want to say, if you want to join me for my streams, I stream on Tuesday and Friday starting at 11 a.m. Eastern. I'd love to have you join me. And thank you to everybody that joined me for my first stream ever yesterday. I really appreciate your support and I appreciate you all showing up there. Also, if anyone's looking for a guild, looking for a group to run Nomer with, I already started a new character yesterday on Living Flame. I'm going to be scaling that up and starting a guild. You can go ahead and join that and the guild discord when it's ready. I'll put it in the description below. If you want to jump in there, you don't have to be on the server. You can just come hang out. If the video did help you out today, please <laughs> strike that like button. If you want to stay tuned for more WoW content in the future, please bash the subscribe. I appreciate your time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.